Jason from OptiTech USA and in this short video I'm going to show you how to change the blade in your National Optronic 7E Edger. Uh, first thing that we want to do is go ahead and, and remove your old blade. So basically what I'll do is I'll back these two screws out. Now I'm not going to take them out the entire way because we don't want them to fall down in, into here. So I'm just going to back them out a, li a little ways and I'm able to take the blade out. So there's your old blade. You're going to go ahead and just just d dispose of that. So as you can see, here where the blade sits, it's a little dirty. So what I like to do is I like to take a wire brush. Usually there's one in your kit. If not, you can pick one up your at your hardware store. And I like to just clean around a little bit and just get all this heavy debris out of here because the imp it's important for this blade to sit flush. So once I get it all the debris out of there, I'll go ahead and take my new blade and I'm going to place it in here. And it should go in fairly easy. You may have to back the screws out just a little bit more. So once I get the blade and it lays flat in there, but I, what the blade needs to do is it needs to slide the whole way to the left. So it needs to be sitting up against this wheel 2 uh, polishing wheel. Once I get it to lay flush up against the left side and it's flat on the bottom, I slowly tighten the screws. So And I tighten them evenly. I'm not going to torque down one and then torque down the other. I get them snug and then I'll torque them both down. Now, how I check to see if the blade is even, first of all, I'll just look naturally across the plane to make sure the blade isn't tilted, make sure that along here seems to be in equal distance. And the next trick I'm going to do is I'll take my finger and from the wheel, I run it across the tippy top of this blade, the very edge. And if I feel a snag on my finger, then that means the blade is sitting slightly higher than the polishing wheel and it's not fitting, sitting flush inside where, where the blade is spo supposed to do. Now if you get a snag in your finger, you just want to remove this blade out and you may have to take this plate the whole way out and then you just want to clean in here. There's a piece of debris or something that's causing it to sit higher. Um, so once you get this and you don't feel a snag on your finger, go ahead and, and tighten everything down and then you are good to go as far as a new blade goes. And, and then the, the next video we'll uh, talk a little bit more about the kit calibration of this new blade.